They seem to be everywhere. If you have a medical emergency or your house is on fire, they will respond. They are the men and women of the Tucson Fire Department, and tonight on the first part of two special reports, Virginia Silva takes us into the lives of our local fire stalkers. Welcome to Fire Station 8, a place where six men are much more than just co-workers. For the next 24 hours, these firefighters will respond to almost every emergency call imaginable. Oh, the kids. Okay, the what, what stands out in your mind? Oh, probably the kids. The kids. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know, that's... Is good. there, like, one specific incident that just you've never really forgotten? The kids. There was a kid, a seven-year-old boy that was laying on the ground, and uh, he had been burnt pretty severely. Had a lot of third-degree burns on his body. And I looked down at him, and he opened his eyes, and his eyes were milk white. You couldn't see any color to his eyes at all. They had been burned. Every day we go out, we say, God, I can't. That's, that's absolutely the weirdest thing we've ever seen. And then the next shift, you come in, and you top it. So it's a constant race. To, I mean, nothing stands out. Nothing. What would obviously be a traumatic experience for most of us is just one of the many incidents they have to deal with on every shift they work. On occasion, the calls aren't so intense. But they do require a lot of TLC. That's pretty good. Damn right it's pretty good yeah. for an old lady. <laughs> With this line of work, you might think firefighters are respected and admired individuals. Well, think again, because more often than not, that isn't the case. On calls and you call every name in the book and you're spit on and, and well, yeah. people slug you and hit you. and Yeah, it, it's... Uh, it was a real eye-opener, you know, it kind of just tumbled my whole philosophy or thought process of what public servants were. When people are hostile towards you, how do you deal with that? Eh? We've been in fights quite often. You know, well, we, we get assaulted and we bit. He's been bitten. You know, we, it's just self-defense, you know, we gotta, we gotta do whatever we can to protect ourselves. But. To us, it's not that dangerous because we know what we're doing and we shouldn't. Do it. I mean, we're spit on, we're chewed up, spit out, and beat up, and beat on. But yet you still love this job. And there's no other job in the world. This is it. This is everything. You've got to. Yeah, you don't stay up 24 hours in a row and, and not love it. Tomorrow, we'll ride along and see them in action. Virginia Silva, KOLD, News Center 13.